Hello, welcome to Grace with Solutions and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Facebook live stream from Vimeo. So if you're ready, let's dive right into the video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to hop into our Facebook page and um, of course, whenever you want to stream, you have to ensure that you're streaming from a professional Facebook page. And by the way, you can follow me on Facebook at Grace with Solutions. So um, if you are new to this, um, if you are new to um, creating a professional Facebook business page. I have a video on this channel and you know where I showed you step by step how to create a professional Facebook business page and I'll put the link right in the description box so you can go right ahead and watch that video and learn how to create a professional Facebook page before you come and watch this video, okay? So um, the first thing we're going to do, like I said, we're going to hop into our Facebook page which we are um, we are already at, okay? And we are going to, uh, we're looking for um creator studio now sometimes facebook has a way of changing their you know their the their outlook or the outlook on pages so what is going to be optimal obtainable on you know on my page might not be the same on your page but it will be um it will just be you know uh, some of the features will be hiding somewhere so you just need to navigate and know what um how your page has been customized by facebook so um now you hop into facebook and then you go to your page okay now then you go to, um, of course, I'm looking for my Creator Studio option. So I go to where I have more, and I go to where I have um, then I click videos. Okay, so as you can see, uh, my Creator Studio option has popped up. So I'm going to click it. Okay, so I click Create New, then go to Go Live. So it it um, so a new window would um, or a new page would would come up, and then. It says welcome back Graceful Solutions. So we have two options here, go live or create live video event. Okay, but I'm gonna stick with the go live option here, the go live tab, okay? So I click create new right here. Okay, so this is the create new option. Now it's gonna ask you um, to allow, you know, Facebook use your camera and microphone. Now this option is, um, is needed if you are gonna stream with your webcam, okay? your laptops uh, webcam and your laptops microphone okay but um for this tutorial we are not going to be using these components okay but it, it, it's not out of place to just click allow in case of um you wish to use these features next time okay so you can just go right ahead and click allow okay all right so as you can see we have two options here we have the webcam and the streaming software okay all right so for this tutorial we're using the streaming software because we are going to connect our vmix to our facebook business page all right so i'm going to click streaming software now it, it brings us a couple of options here okay so the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to um okay so copy your stream key all right okay but before we we do that let's head over to our vmix and then um let's do a few settings right there okay now so the first thing i'm going to do on my vmix right here is to go to the um this this gear icon beside the stream button okay so i click that and then it gives us a couple of options right here now where you have your um destination okay i'm, I'm going to click it and select um okay custom arrow tmp server okay so you have a ton of options that you can stream to okay stream to youtube um vimeo upstream twitch and all that but, uh, but we're going to use the custom the custom rotmp server option okay so i click that now where it says your url okay you go back to your facebook page right here and then you copy okay okay so this is your stream url right here okay so this is your stream url so i'm just going to copy this or i just click right here and say copy then I go back to my Vmix and I paste it in there. Okay, so I paste it here. All right. Then, um, okay. Then I go back to my Vmix um, where I have, uh, then I go back to my Vmix, uh, sorry, then I go back to my Facebook page and then I copy. Now this thing is very important, okay, your stream key. Now this stream key right here is what connects your um, okay, it's one of the top or um, one of the key features that connect your Facebook page to your Vmix. Okay, so you have to make sure this 
this um, code is not altered so i just go right here and i click copy okay then i go back to my vmix and i paste it um right here so i paste it right here where it says stream key so i click this and i so i'm sorry i paste it and then um yeah so i can go to my advanced tab if i want to change anything here, but i think i don't need to alter anything here so and then i click um okay then right here where it says um the stream options now if you if you your network if um the network you or your internet you know source or service provider um if your network is not fast okay you can come here and adjust it okay so let's say you are using a very slow internet service okay what you need to do is just to come click this gear icon right here and then you can reduce where you have your video bitrate and code size and all that so you can reduce it to um you can reduce your bitrate to let's say um let's say 650 or 500 now take note that the lower the bitrate okay the um your it would also affect the quality of your video so the the lower the bitrate the less sharp your video would be okay but so i can leave it at 500 descent then encode size i can leave it at um 640 by um 360 then i can leave my audio bitrate at the default setting then i can leave other settings at that default setting as well and then i click save okay so um so i'm done with every setting here and then i say save and close okay so um the next thing now ensure that this persistent stream key is always checked so that each time you start your facebook you don't need to um, start your live stream you don't need to copy your um you know stream key again okay the stream key from the last stream will still be active so i just go right ahead copy once again and go to my vmix and i click paste okay so by the way if you have any value from this video please give this video a like share this video to your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more amazing graphic design and internet tips tricks and tutorials so i click save and now the next thing i'm going to do is on my vmix i'm, I'm going to import the video i need to stream to my facebook so to do that I go to my add input right here. I click this and um, okay, it brings up a window where I can okay import the video into my um, my VMix. Okay, so I now you have a ton of options here. Okay, um, DVD uh, camera blah 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 and all that. But the option I'm going to use is a video. Okay, so I'm going to click video and I go to where I have browse and then it takes me to my computer. And then I just want to import um, any video for this tutorial. Okay, so let me just go to um, one of the videos I just edited on my channel. Okay, mm, like this. All right, so let, let's just wait for that to load up. Okay, um, something like this. Okay, let me just use this video. I click OK. All right, now we have successfully imported our video. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to come to where I have this um, on my stream, on my stream um, tab here. I'm going to click the stream button. Okay. And yeah, so wait for that to come up. Okay. So you wait for that to load up. All right, so we are live on Vmix. Okay, now take note of this. Whenever your stream button turns red, it means that you are live and um, yeah, your network is okay and your stream is good. Okay, your stream is healthy and excellent. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to head into my head back to Facebook. All right, um, so you wait for now, it says um, video connecting. Now, as you can see right here, um, we have this little preview window on our Facebook handle. It means that there is now a connection between vmix and facebook we have three options to go um, before we go live okay so the first one which is connecting video source as you can see is checked meaning that there, there's now a connection between our uh, um vmix and facebook so the next thing i'm going to give my stream a title okay post details and i go to so it's like you are giving your stream a title so that your viewers can know what your stream is all about okay so i click what's your live video about and then i put in um the description let's say title i can just say test transmission 
and then I can just repeat the same process or the same um, description and then I click save okay so we are done with that so the next and final option right here okay is to go live okay now to do that we go we scroll all the way down to this our uh, go live option here our go live tab right here and then we click go live okay so it says live video is starting all right so as you can see we are now live on um facebook okay right here it says um grace v solutions is live now and as you can confirm okay you can confirm on our vmix this is the exact video that um it's been streamed okay and that's the exact exact video that is being shown on our facebook live um live feed or live stream all right so this is how you set up your facebook live stream via vmix okay so i'm sure you had value from this video if there's any part of this tutorial that you don't understand please feel free to leave your questions and comments in the description box and of course i'll attend to them as soon as possible so once again please follow us on facebook at graceview solutions so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe